Well, good afternoon. Today we're going to talk about counter steering. I've heard a lot of people, okay, not a lot. I've heard the occasional person talk about counter steering as if it were some abstract, unprovable, faith based thing, right? Except it isn't. So you have, no doubt, steered your bike around a parking lot. Like, you know, right, left, right, left. And, uh, and you point your front wheel in the direction you want the bike to go, and it goes there. Once you're out on the road, things work a little different. You're, uh, the reason why it's called counter steering, and you heard this in your MSF class, right? Push right, go right. Push left, go left. It's, uh, it's not, it's not something we've, we've really thought about until we learn to ride a motorbike, ride a push bike, a bicycle, and unless you're really dedicated to bicycling, you don't really think about counter steering. You just sort of, I don't know, you just sort of do it. Body English. You steer the bicycle with body English. Because you're so much bigger than it is and it just happens. Motorcycles take a little more uh, effort, finesse, knowledge, something. Ugh, so we're just going to sit in this traffic for a little bit. But... You'll notice when I'm going really slow, I can I can steer the bike, you know, and it goes it goes when I steer it goes when I steer it goes because I am upright and steering is steering. The moment I pick up a little speed, I'm going to have to counter steer. Once that bike leans over just a little bit in a turn, push right, go right, push left, go left. So once we get going again, <laughs> once we get going again, it'll be uh, it'll be pretty obvious. I will try to try to keep my head tilted down so you can see, you know, watch this axis right here, and you'll see in, in comparison to the frame, you'll see the. Um, see the bars move and um, the best I can describe it is is that front wheel just getting out of its own way when you're when you're steering and you lean over so watch me I'm gonna do like put a little effort just a little bit of input on the bar on this side I'm just gonna push right right and then on this side I'm gonna push right and if I did it right, because I'm looking at the road and not the, uh, looking at the road and not my <laughs> triple tree, push left, go left, push right, go right, right? So there's some, uh, some turns coming up here, so we'll be able to actually see what happens when get into a turn, and I push on the right of the handlebar and it goes right. And then I push on the left of the handlebar, and it goes left, and it's like magic. Just uh, every every two wheeler does this, whether it's a bicycle or a big, leggy, tall, dual sport bike like this one, or a big heavy cruiser with big fat tires on it. Uh, you're always counter steering. So if you just get out on the road and just give it a little tiny input, you will be amazed at how the motorcycle reacts to you. And it's better to be conscious of it. Because then, when you're on an unfamiliar road, coming in a little hot, maybe, instead of panicking and slowing down for that turn, just push a little harder. And 
and uh, and the bike will do it. You gotta you gotta trust. The motorcycle is more competent than you are because nine times out of ten, probably more than that, your motorcycle is more competent than you are. Here we go. So you push left. You can just put that bike exactly where you want it on the road. Exactly where you want it. It's up to you to get out there and practice, 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 right? While you're rolling down the road. So, like, the first time I ever realized this, I've been riding for like a year. And, you know, they teach you all this stuff in the class, but, Christ, there's so much. Like, you're just bombarded with so much information, and then you sort of parse it all out over the course of your riding career, and the more books you read about it, and the more, like, more training you do, and the more people say counter-steering, counter-steering, counter-steering. And then you're like, oh wait, what was this counter-steering thing? Let's try it out, right? So you get out of the road, and you're going straight, and you're like, you know, you just, uh, you just steer the bike like you would in a, in a parking lot with both hands. Instead of concentrating on pushing, you, um, like I did, you just get out there, you're like, what happens if I try to steer left? Whoa, the bike goes right. Ha! Ah. Yeah. why I haven't test ridden one of those trikes because uh, I think I might kill myself. They are opposite. They do not counter steer. Two wheeled vehicles counter steer. Anything with more than two wheels, unless you're flying the car, and that's a 300s level class, unless you're flying the car, you're not counter steering. And that's today's lesson. Get out there. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, bye.